Today we're looking at id Software's new Doom iteration and this is running on the Vulkan API with a GTX 1080. So this is the sort of interesting part about the demo, otherwise it's just gameplay of Doom, which is of course a good looking game, but mostly interested in the API and the GPU. So for a bit of backstory, this demo was first given to us in Austin, Texas during the GTX 1080 unveil in a closed doors press event. And in that demonstration, as we published on the website, this particular demo that you're looking at right now was running at a range of 120 FPS to 200 FPS maximum. And then we were also told by developers id Software that the uh, FPS is actually capable of going higher than 200, but to, due to a game timing bug, which will be resolved by launch, they were capping the FPS to 200. So this has a range of 120 to 200. The video itself is rendered, of course, at 60 FPS. And what you're looking at is 1080p Ultra Gaming with Doom on the Vulkan API. So Vulkan is a new low-level API. It's sort of uh, similar in some ways to DirectX 12 in that it grants low-level access to the hardware and developers or game engine developers in most cases will be able to manually tap into things like memory and registers and make all those calls to better accelerate the graphics processing and that's what helps out here with reducing load on the CPU and things like that. So this is on Vulkan. The Vulkan patch won't be available on game launch. You won't be able to play it with Vulkan on day one, but the proper Vulkan update will come within, uh, I think we were told, a few weeks of launch, if not sooner. So you can expect it pretty immediately, and we will be trying to benchmark that, assuming Computex doesn't interfere too much. In terms of the graphics that you're looking at, most of the things worth pointing out here are, you can see some decals, all these blood decals everywhere. That's just normal uh, sort of two-dimensional images, arrays that are painted onto the surface uh, as decals that will likely eventually disappear. But the more interesting effects are all of these particle effects, and there's a lot of uh, lighting, shading stuff going on, some volumetric effects that you can see in here. Um, that gun that was just being shot looks, it, I can't really tell from this short clip, but it looks like it's just it's almost shooting a sprite. Um, the explosives, though, are pretty damn cool, and the gameplay looks quick. I mean, it reminds me of the old Quake or UT games, uh, certainly old, old Doom games, but I haven't played those in ages. It does look pretty interesting, though. Graphically, you're looking at some medium geometric complexity, nothing too crazy going on, low to medium geometric complexity with a lot of particle effects and uh, shaders and lighting for the post-processing things like that to really drive the, the graphics to a different level. Other than this, I think there is, if I'm not mistaken, physically based rendering within Doom. That's a pretty big thing now where you, you can actually watch our interview with Crytek about PBR, physically based rendering, and learn what that is and how it works, interacts with the world, interacts with the GPU. On the GPU and CPU side of things, Vulkan does mean that a lot of the draw calls will be moved away from the CPU and onto the GPU. And so a draw call, if you're not familiar with one, is basically uh, a term representing the process or the act of a CPU telling a GPU individually to draw a triangle. And if you have complex geometry, uh, all these polygons and things, if you have complex geometry, the CPU is going to be making a lot of commands, issuing a ton of commands to the GPU to draw these triangles. That's very inefficient. And that's how it works with DirectX 11. There's really no way around it. With Vulkan and with DirectX 12, the API is able to bypass a lot of the overhead that's present in DirectX 11. And so these draw calls suddenly can just sort of be moved off of the CPU and handled entirely by the GPU. And that reduces a lot of the workload which means that in instances where a CPU might start choking on the render thread or some other thread, maybe the physics thread, whatever, where the CPU might start choking on one of these threads, it is able to push that over to the GPU and you end up with these really high fidelity, high frame rate graphics that we're getting right now in the Doom demonstration presented by id Software. And this is brand new gameplay footage, by the way, unedited uh, by our team other than the voiceover. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, draw calls have, it's just one part of the advantage of DX12 and Vulkan. Uh, generally, memory management is another major item depending on how these engine developers take advantage of the new APIs. And a lot of this is going to be on the engine side. That's one of the more interesting things here is that from an industry standpoint, it is, it's really hard to properly build 
for Vulcan and DX12, it's not just like a free performance gain that you get by sort of plugging in an API. And this is why, if you've seen some of the benchmarks with maybe uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, this is why you'll see DirectX 12 sometimes perform worse than DirectX 11, even though in theory it should perform better in almost every scenario. And the reason is mostly because developers will either uh, not build from the ground up for the new API, which means it's not taking advantage of every aspect that does net these gains, or they are wrapping the game so that it's just calling the X12, but it's not really instituting it at a low level and reaping those benefits. And so when you wrap a game, just like wrapping anything else in software, all it's doing is actually creating additional overhead, and hence you'll see maybe a one or two FPS slowdown with the X12 over 11. Uh, so I believe that wraps up our Doom demo. It's about six minutes here. Pretty good looking game. I have not played it, so I'm not gonna comment on the gameplay, but it certainly looks good. Uh, Vulcan's a big deal, but as always, thank you for watching. If you have questions about this stuff, post them below. Maybe we'll address it in an Ask a GN. Otherwise, our GTX 1080 review is coming up very shortly, so do subscribe for that. Patreon link the post video if you want to help us out directly. I'll see you all next time.